Hi there, this is Nikki Rowland. Um, I'm making a layout today for Spiegel Mum Scraps using the absolutely gorgeous Rose Gold Glory sequin set that is new to the store. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm using a cut file uh, by Virginia Walker. It was a freebie that I downloaded, uh, one that she gave away for free on her Facebook group. So head over there and grab some free cut files. Uh, she has some amazing cut files in her shop as well. Um, so what I've done is I've cut it out of um, a pattern paper um, I used a really crazy bright coloured paper that had lots of different colours on. It's a Paige Evans one. Um, and um, I've also cut the outline um, in a, just a light pink uh, cardstock. So I actually cut the cardstock uh, outline first and then realised that backfilling all of those stars were going to kill me. So I then cut the um, outline only, um, or the full background only so without the middle sections effectively uh, from this piece of patterned paper so that I could simply stick on the pink outline on top however um, I'd already used a part of this pattern paper um, and uh, therefore I didn't quite manage to fill all of the stars there's two there that are not filled and uh, one little spot part or point of another one you can see my background paper there that I've really uh, cut out of already um, and uh, so I was uh, had to be clever with the cutting machine to make sure that um, I got most of the um, most of the cut file in uh, but there was one little section that I couldn't quite fit so from the rest of those scraps I'm just going to fill in those other two uh, stars and the half a star um, so I'm now just um, sticking my white background uh, to the gutted frame of that piece of paper there it is it's so pretty isn't it it's so pretty uh, mounted on that uh, with the with the colors behind it and then with the pink paper pattern out, outline um, so um, I'm going to uh, create a really large title uh, to the right of my photos my photos are going to sit within those that beautiful star um, strip there uh, and uh, I'm going to add that fearless title there it's a perspective of a uh, acrylic word by Bramble Fox. Uh, they're in the UK and they have really awesome uh, perspectives. Um, and uh, I'm going to make a long title. I've found a quote that's perfect for these photos and uh, I want to um, use uh, the word fearless um, as part of the title um, and you'll see me add a whole bunch of uh, letters later. So I'm just kind of working out where everything's going to sit um, and make sure I have got enough room uh, for that title. I had all these stars left over from the uh, from the background paper that I cut um, and I just wanted to see if any of those uh, could you be used on the background of the layout that was why I initially cut them um, uh, but they it didn't look right I love the star like spray uh, part of the cut file and I don't think it needs any more stars on it so I'm just using those stars to backfill those final two stars that are um, that I missed off when I cut the background um, that was way quicker just to mount those two than it was to do all of them so uh, I'm pleased that this was the way uh, forward um, and because it, it's a piece of paper with lots of different patterns on it looks like I've backfilled all those stars individually with different colours so um, total cheap but uh, awesome you know uh, anyway so I am now um, raising up my cut file on foam pads um, I like to have uh, lots of dimension on my layouts um, rather than have things stuck flat so that's what I'm doing there um, I'm just cutting up some of the bigger foam pads to fit within the small stars um, and just putting all the backs off there obviously um, and then I'm going to get that stuck down now this works well because I've only got foam risers in the middle of each star which means I can still tuck things underneath the corners of the stars um, and uh, I can get my photos in there there you go um, and uh, they, I still have lots of lovely dimension so just getting my photos stuck in place um, I'm not using any extra pattern paper behind my photos I normally do but on this occasion because the the star spray is so busy um, I wanted to keep things um, things uh, less busy so in, not introduce any more pa papers um, I'm now going through and adding that amazing rose gold glory uh, sequin set that's new to the Spiegel Mum scrap store um, it is a 
little bag full of happiness. It's full of glittery sequins and beautiful sequins and shiny ones and it's just absolutely gorgeous in that beautiful colour rose gold that we're all absolutely in love with. Um, so I have just sprinkled those over. I've been quite generous with them. I wanted to use lots on the layout um, but I didn't want to detract too much from the stars so I wanted them to complement the stars rather than overpower them uh, which is what I feel like I've achieved there. So I've just literally sprinkled them on top. Uh, I haven't stuck them all in place yet but I will go and stick them all in place at some point. I just want to get my title in place before I do any sticking of the sequins just so I don't have a random sequin stuck exactly where I need to put a letter uh, and then I have a blob of glue that I, I can't um, get rid of. So I'm just getting my title in place. Um, so my title is going to be Be Fearless in the Pursuit of What Sets Your Soul on Fire. That's obviously pretty long um, so I need to be careful at, in my font size. I'm planning to use mostly alphabet stickers to do this. Obviously I've used the word fearless which is a perspective um, but all of the others need to be quite small letters. So I've pulled out what I've got. I've got quite a few Pink Fresh Studio um, tiny alphas, you can see those there. Um, I had the um, Joyful Day ones uh, which are multicoloured um, and um, I had another set uh, in the turquoise. Um, they're lovely as well and just slightly bigger than the teeny ones from Pink Fresh Studio. Well, I think those are Pink Fresh Studio as well, but an older collection. I think they're from Simple and Sweet, uh, which is the slightly older, and those letters are just slightly bigger. Um, so I'm trying to go, rather than multicoloured, I'm trying to keep each word in the same colour um, and just have lots of different coloured words. So sometimes I have completely multicoloured words uh, where all the letters are different colours, but I didn't want to do that on this occasion. I wanted to keep them... Um, uh, to keep them all in the same colour. So you can see I'm nearly there. I've got my whole uh, title in place. I'm delighted with how that looks and the fact that it fit really nicely and that's down to my small fonts. Um, and uh, yeah, now I can go ahead and get all those sequins um, stuck in place. Um, so I need to get that perspective stuck down and the also I've put, added a rose gold crown above Be Fearless because um, they're photos of my little girl and she is being fearless. She's rock climbing and she threw herself up that rock wall <laughs> with no fear whatsoever um, but she's such a princess so even though she can be sporty and can ha you know has this um, real uh, you know she's kind of you know she want, kind of wants to be a tomboy effectively but she's just loves dressing up and being pretty so you know she went to her birthday party in a beautiful dress her hair done beautifully and trainers um, and then she's up climbing a rock rock wall <laughs> so um that's just typical of my daughter so the rose gold crown there above just brings in the girly factor which um she really really is so i'm sticking my um my sequins down now so i'm using doing my usual trick of using glossy accents and i'm picking up my each sequin with a paper piercing tool which i've put a little bit of glossy accents on the end um, and i have just pulled pull each one out of the way put a tiny blob of uh, glossy accents and then move the sequin back into place so uh, that doesn't take that long actually it's surprising how quick you can stick those down so um, I've, I've gone through and done that pretty quick um, there are some really little bits in this mix um, but again I use the same technique in order to stick those down and then at this point I'm shaking the layout to see if there's any sequins that move i.e. have I missed any when sticking them all down of course I have missed some there's so many of them um, so uh, I just go back and add uh, some extra blobs of glue in there um, so now I'm trying to figure out if I need any extra embellishments on this layout. Of course I do want to have some embellishments but like I said earlier the um, star, star spray cut file with all those beautiful sequins um, is uh, quite busy. I've also got a massive title which is quite busy in itself so therefore I'm going to try to keep my embellishment to a minimum. I've just pulled out a couple of bits of ephemera to add behind the photos. Um, so instead of patterns they're kind of solid um, and uh, they just give a little bit of extra colour behind the photo without um, being a full photo mount and introducing another colour. Um, and um, I'm going through the Paige Evans Horizon collection. Um, I've got those lovely puffy words um, and I'm just pulling out the ones that uh, work with my layout. 
Um, and I'm embellishing this layout tone on tone. So where I've got pink um, in pink stars, I'm putting pink words over the top. Um, and uh, I, I think I add some more. There we go. Yeah. So I've got one down, a pink one down there as well, plus a butterfly, a couple of pink hearts. Um, and the uh, pink word strips over to the left hand side and I'm adding some orange ones at the top there as well. So just um, adding in those little bits and pieces uh, doesn't detract from the layout overall, i.e. doesn't take away from the photos and the beautiful starburst with the sequins, um, but it does make it a little bit more interesting um, as well. So I, you know, I like embellishments, so I thought I would definitely add some, uh, but trying to get the balance right is um, always difficult so I'm just trying to uh, make sure that I don't overdo it uh, which I you know have been known to do um, so um, that is me um, pretty much done what I am going to do is add a few flicks of paint here um, I'm just using a shimmers paint um, and um, I've pulled out some uh, of the color you can see I've just popped it there on my craft sheet and I've just added a little bit of water to make it a bit thinner so that I can flick it easily with a paintbrush so just following the line of the stars there and adding um, those those flicks of paint um, and the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch through through all of my alphabet stickers. Not all of them, but the small ones. Um, not the soul and fire because they are foam words, whereas all of the others are puffy and the puffy ones will come off, uh, whereas the foam ones normally stay pretty stuck. So I've just stitched through them one row um, of uh, straight stitching on my sewing machine in white thread and I've just pulled all the threads through to the back and I'm just securing those on the back with some tape there. Um, okay, so um, other than um, handwriting in a small amount of journaling, of which I'm trying to find somewhere to put it <laughs> uh, right now, um, I am done. So um, so yeah, that was my um, layout today. The cut file is by Virginia Walker and you should be able to find it in the Confessions of a Paper Addict store. The sequin set that I've used is called Rose Gold Glory and is so beautiful. Um, and um, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you place an order through the Spiegel Mum Scrap store, then make sure you enter code Nikki15 for a 15% discount. Thanks very much. See you next time. Bye.